Hello, everyone. I know, I know. I am a week and a day, <clears throat> a day late. No excuses, but I'm, I'm back. Like never before. I'm just playing, but you know, like I said, I'm gonna stay committed to posting these videos so I can encourage some people and make it do what it do. Last week I was out of town and. Yeah, just busy with doing different things, so. And yesterday I was so tired. Like, tired. Okay? So. But I felt the urge to get up today and go ahead and post this video. Because somebody needs to hear this, okay? I already said my prayer beforehand. Asking God to give me the words and the wisdom to give to you. So I hope this video encourages you encourages you in a way that you know is pleasing to the lord so as you can see by the title of my video are you mad and what i'm going to be talking about today is um just praying to god about things that you desire or want pertaining to anything in your life or anything that is going on but you being okay with the outcome um, cause a lot of people, you know, ask God for different things, including myself, but then when it doesn't, the prayer doesn't get answered in a way that we expect for it to be answered or things just doesn't turn out the way that we want them to turn out. You know, it can be very frustrating. We can get upset and just start asking God and some people even blame God for things, to, for the way things turn out and... I just wanted to get on here today and talk about, you know, how to pray and what to pray for, basically, so that you won't be disappointed um, with the outcome. So, the scripture that I am coming to you with today is going to be from the book of Jeremiah, verse chapter 29, verse 11. A lot of you know what that is, but I am going to be, you know, basically elaborating on it today. Um, so when you pray, basically what you want to do is you want to pray. And within that prayer, you want to ask for God's will to be done. Because if you are a believer of God and you have submitted to him and you have made a commitment to, you know, live according to his will and his plan for your life, um, you have to be okay with whatever the outcome is as far as your prayer goes. Because if your prayer and your desires do not align with the plan and the will that God has for your life, then what you're asking for may not come to pass because it just doesn't, it's not something that God had in the plan for your life, okay? And so what I do when I pray, for instance, if somebody is asking for me to pray for their loved one or their family member that's, you know, sick and could possibly pass away or anything, I go to the throne and I ask God, uh, I'm coming to you on behalf of this individual. They're needing this and that, but I also want your will to be done. So whatever your will be, let it be done. Whether it's according to my prayer or to his plan. So if it is in his plan, then for your life or my life or whatever, then it shall come to pass. So basically I'm preparing myself because what I'm asking for may not come to pass because it just doesn't align with the will that God has for my life. So whatever the outcome may be, I'm okay with it because I've already prepared myself ahead of time. Like, you know, if this doesn't happen or if it doesn't happen in the way that I want it to do or happen or in the time frame that I want it to happen, then it just wasn't, you know, according to God's will or plan for my life or whatever the case may be and so that's what i want you to understand like when you pray make sure you say hey god this is what i want or need but whatever your will be let it be done so that you know 
you'll be prepared for the outcome. Whether he answers your prayer or answers it in a different way that you just did not pray for. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to go ahead and read this verse here that I'm going to elaborate on for you. And then I'm just go a little bit more in depth with it. So verse 11 in chapter 29 of Jeremiah says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. You see, the word plan is said three times in this verse. Okay, three times. God already know how everything is going to turn out. He knows every single thing. He knows the plan that he has for your life to the T. Like every intricate detail of that plan. You don't know it because you can't see into the future, obviously, unless you're a psychic or something like that. You don't know the plans, but God knows the plans. He knows the plans for every single day of your life. He knows everything that is going to happen. He already knew that you were going to come to him and ask him for whatever you're asking for, whatever your heart desires. He already knew. But God knows what's best for us better than we know what's best for us. Because after all, he is our creator. He is our creator. He made us. He knew who we were going to be before we were even and plants in our mother's womb. So, and that's why I'm saying you just have to be okay with whatever the outcome is of your prayer. So prepare yourself. And like I said, when you pray, ask God to let his will be done. And so that you will be okay with whatever the outcome is. Okay? So, with that prayer, you just want to continue to seek the Lord and, you know... Ask him for wisdom and guidance and discernment on anything that comes your way. Relationships, friendships, um, jobs, financial stability, anything like that. You want to seek him on all of that. And that way, whatever happens, it's happening according to his will for your life and not your will and your understanding. And a lot of people, they don't, they don't get that. And so that's why I'm putting this video out there because I want people to know that your prayers might not turn out the way you want them to turn out. And it's because you made a commitment to God to submit to him and live according to his will. So you can't possibly be mad at him for letting it turn out the way it did. You know, like it's okay to ask God some questions, but don't question his ability to you know take care of you because god knows what he is doing okay whether you believe it or know it or not god knows exactly what he is doing and so i just want you to uh remember that verse chapter 29 of jeremiah verse 11 i actually have a bible case that i'm going to just show you because this verse is just some very important to me. I got this case from Amazon. Hope it's not backwards. I hope you can see it. But it says, For I know the, it's just basically the scripture, the verse, chapter 29, verse 11 of Jeremiah. I really like this Bible case. Like I said, I got it from Amazon, but I carry this with me when I go to church, you know. And it's a great verse to just. Put into your head whenever something just doesn't go your way. Remember that verse. Because God, like I say, he knows what he's doing. He loves you. He wants the best for you. So just keep that in mind. And don't let the disappointments get you off track. If anything, let it keep you going. Keep having that faith in God and believing that he's going to take care of you. Like I said, better than you take care of yourself like after all he is our father he knows us he loves us so just keep that in mind y'all okay um i really missed you guys um but like i said i'm gonna keep on doing this this is my 
passion. I love encouraging people. So I hope that these videos are encouraging you. Um, and you know, just don't be afraid to be bold when it comes to Jesus Christ. Okay. Talk about him to other people. Share the word, share the gospel, share the good news. Okay. That's what Jesus wants. He is pleased when you do that. Okay. So, and be content, you know, be grateful for the things that you have and stop focusing on things that you don't have. Okay. Whatever your heart desire, God will bless, if it, especially if it's according to his will and his plan for your life, okay? Like a lot of the desires that we do have, if they're, you know, according to his will, like God is, he's going to bless, bless us with it, you know? We have to obey him and trust him and live according to how he wants us to live and be examples to other people. Like, I am not perfect at all. I'm nowhere near perfect. I cannot judge anybody. I can't cast any stones or anything like that. But what I do know about God, I'm going to tell to others. And, you know, what I do know is that God loves me just like he loves you. So be encouraged. Stay encouraged. Encourage others. Okay. And again, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Keep that verse in your head. And memorize it if you have to. So that when you pray, you'll know that whatever happens is because God has that in the plan and the will for your life. So I'll be back next week with another video. If not sooner, I don't know. But for sure next week, I love you all. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cat Williams. I'm sure if you type that name into the YouTube shirt, search engine is just going to pull up the comedian cat williams i mean i am a comedian but i'm not the one you, that youtube is going to be thinking of so just click on the link if you have a youtube account both once you go to the video you can just hit subscribe and then share it with other people you know or comment down below anything that you would like for me to touch on or anything like that but anyways, I'm about to go and I hope that you all stay safe, healthy, and I love you all. Deuces.